Chaos, calm, how I stay calm in a chaotic world, my daily routine. Perhaps nature's greatest and least understood paradox is that it is both ordered and chaotic. I know these are just human-defined words, but this paradox represents the core reason why man cannot predict or control nature. For me, despite the chaos, I find nature calming, and despite man being part of nature, I find people, in general, not calming. Although humans are part of nature, human activity is often understood as a separate category from other natural phenomena. So in general, my calm comes from non-human natural phenomena. In this video, I will go through my daily routine that keeps me calm in this chaotic world. Number 1. Water or water to those who like to pronounce it normally. I pronounce it like that because in Grade 7, our teacher taught us to always drink a glass of water when we wake up. I've done it ever since. Obviously, we're mostly made of water, and it makes sense after going without it for so long during the night to have some as soon as we get up. I drink filtered water at home, but I don't care either way. I'm happy to drink from a public fountain. Queensland Health recently released this regarding kidney health. Drink plenty of water. Number 2. Exercise My exercise of choice is handstands. I didn't start doing handstands until my mid-30s. At first, my goal was just to do a handstand for 10 seconds. That took me one year to achieve. Now that I'm in my 40s, I do handstand push-ups. That took me a few years to master, but now I can do 60 at a time. Not always, but on a good day. I'm not trying to show off here, it took me many years of practice, but I do all this because I have no control over the outside world. I can't control what other people do, but at least I can control my own physical fitness. If I can't get outside, I use weights. I don't really enjoy them, but I'll sometimes stand and watch the cricket or whatever and lift weights. These weights are found in the bin. Not long ago, my neighbours moved away and threw their weights out, so typical me scavenged them. I just washed them with hand sanitizer, and they were as good as new. Number 3. Gardening I've always liked gardening. My mum taught it to me, I guess. This is a picture of me in Japan in 2005. Although I never had access to any land, I did have a balcony, so I just grew some herbs in pots. Now that I have a little bit of land, I've started growing some veggies over the last couple of months. Zucchinis, cucumbers, tomatoes, parsley, spring onion, coriander, spinach and lettuce, climbing beans, radish, carrots, and Chinese chives. Mainly, I just bought packets of seed from Aldi for like $1 each or whatever. I only planted half the seed, so have enough for next season. I'm also planning to collect seed. As you can see, I also bought some flower seeds that I would normally never do, but I had to stop the kids from touching the asbestos fence, so I needed to grow some kind of natural barrier, hence the flowers. Every day I try to spend at least 10 minutes out in the garden, either weeding, picking, or just looking. Although I can pick up a bag of carrots from Aldi for like $1, dirt cheap, I probably can't grow them for that. Gardening is not about saving money for me, it's about staying calm. Number 4. Chinese I studied Chinese Mandarin every morning on the computer for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. This software is called Anki. I do this mainly because I like languages, but also because most of my wife's friends prefer speaking Chinese. I also study Japanese, just to keep up with it, although I don't regularly speak with any Japanese people. Just by doing a little bit of practice each day, I can read and understand most Japanese, at least to a basic level. For me, studying languages brings calm to my life. I find it interesting and very peaceful. Anyway, that's my daily routine, but on top of that, here are a few tips that I use to stay calm in this chaotic world. Tip number one, if I go outside, I avoid large gatherings of people. Whenever there are too many people, there is chaos. I prefer to go to the park with my family. Tip two, avoid getting goaded into arguments with strangers, especially on social media. It's a no-win situation. You get aggravated and nothing gets accomplished. Have you ever gotten to an argument on social media and the person replied, Hey, thank you. You're right, and I'm wrong. You convinced me. That was a brilliant point that you raised. I appreciate it. The big social media sites are rigged to trigger anger, rage, and jealousy. Spending too much time on them isn't good for your mental or emotional health. Most calm people I know avoid these sites altogether, and certainly don't get into fights with people. 
Tip 3. Don't sweat the small stuff. Avoid getting roped into petty nonsense. Take these things in your stride and don't let these petty annoyances ruin your day. Yesterday in the shopping centre car park, a lady driving a four-wheel drive backed straight into the side of my car. My wife jumped out and got upset, but I told her to keep calm while I went and checked for damage. There was only the tiniest of dents on the side door, so I just let it go. I told the lady I'm fine with it if she's fine with it. Of course she was. It was her fault. But because I kept my cool, we both walked away happy and calm. For me, exchanging insurance information, contacting the insurer, taking the car in for a quote, getting it repaired and all the rest of it was just a waste of my life. I was much calmer by just keeping my cool and forgiving and forgetting. I went home and it took me about five minutes to repair. Chaos. Calm. It's basically your choice. Thank you.